Today I'm going to be unboxing a value motherboard from MSI, although it is a value sort of tiered board, part of their E-series of boards. It has a number of features that we've come to expect, including a three-year warranty, military class two concept components. So we have super ferrite chokes as well as solid capacitors. That's gonna give you more current delivery and a longer lifetime. So they say 10 years lifetime here, but if you flip the box over to the back, you can see that they figure for gaming, it can operate for up to 12 years non-stop and for office use up to 40 years. So yes, in the year 2050, you could still be using your H67 rig should all of the other components that last that long and should you so desire. Pretty cool. So we got OC Genie 2, THX True Studio Pro, which gives us an ultimate audio experience. Okay, so basically it looks like there's a few different settings that are supported by the THX audio. We've got Winky 3, which allows you to surf the internet, chat with friends, maintain hard drive data, edit docs and photos without any OS, although I still recommend installing an OS for the best possible functionality of this board. You can see it is compatible with Windows 7. Okay, uh, here we've got instant overclocking. Oh yeah, that's right. That's with their control center software as well as Click BIOS. So it supports UEFI BIOS, just like all of MSI's P67 and H67 boards. Here we have a drivers and utilities DVD. Here we have a quick installation guide showing you how to use some of the basic uh, things that plug into other things with this particular board. Here we've got some of those convenient uh, M connector things. Those are for plugging in your front panel connectors more easily. Here we've got a user guide, a couple SATA cables as well as a Molex to SATA power adapter, and we have an IO shield. All right, we got some environmentally friendly cardboard packaging here, and then we have the board itself. So this is an H67 board, which means it is compatible with all Intel LGA 1155 processors from their Core i5 and Core i7 families. Here we go, let's just take this guy out. Okay. And it is not compatible with LGA 1156 processors, bear that in mind. And another thing is that no matter what kind of a CPU you're using, you will have support for the onboard graphics, but if you're using an unlocked CPU, you will not have support for unlocked overclocking on an H67 chipset board, so bear that in mind. So here we go, let's take this sticker off, and let's start with the CPU socket in the center of the board, as I am apt to do. So there's your LG 1155 socket, supporting all the latest second generation Intel Core i series processors. Here we've got our four pin power connector in its almost ideal location on the top left. I wouldn't mind seeing it a little bit further up. Here we got our CPU fan. Okay, we've got uh, dual channel DDR3 support. We've got clips on both sides. Some, in some ways I actually prefer this system to the easy uh, one side clip mechanism because it always feels a little weird putting the RAM in the one side and kind of you know, squeezing it in there and then putting it down and clipping it shut. I kind of prefer to open up two clips put in the RAM and then clip them both shut. Anyway, next we've got our 24 pin connector in its ideal location along the right hand edge of the board. And here we have four SATA 2 3 gigabit per second ports and two SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports. So those are gonna be what you wanna use for like an SSD boot drive if you get a new SATA 3 SSD or any other performance drives you have attached to this board. And these ones would be more like for your storage drives, your optical drives, all that kind of good stuff. Here's our chipset heatsink, which is using a pretty stylish overall look. Very angular in design. Looks very nice. Let's see if we can get it to actually focus on it. There you go. All right. Next, here we've got, wow, four front USB headers. One, two, three, four. Here's our front panel connectors. Okay, moving over, we've got uh, front panel audio connector right here. In terms of expansion options, this is kind of a... This is kind of a new one for me on a more value-oriented board. Oh, please focus, come on. On a more value-oriented board, we've got a PCI Express 16X slot here and three PCIe 1X slots. So there is no legacy PCI support on this motherboard. You will be expected to use all updated PCI Express add-in cards, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. All right, next we've got Eight. I don't think I've ever seen an optical audio port up there. So we've got a combo PS2 port. We have digital audio supported via optical 
And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six USB 2.0 ports. No USB 3.0 on this board, guys. We have HDMI, Gigabit Ethernet, VGA DVI. Okay, so we've got quite a range of output options for display. And then we've got onboard 7.1. Audio. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the H67MS E43 from MSI. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.